Hello, <laughs> I'm Patty Kay. Welcome. This is uh, the U Shaped Business Show, and our topic today is habits. <laughs> Yay! Yesterday we talked about uh, getting started. Today we're going to talk about keeping going. And uh, once again, we are on a subject which I am well. I'm either spectacular particularly unqualified for or maybe exactly the right voice that you need to hear seems um, if you happen to be like me that is <laughs> and have a, a really 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 hard time creating new habits at least the good kind I am amazingly good at picking up bad habits but uh, less so uh, with the good ones so that's what we're going to uh, talk about today is, is habits and how to, uh, how to create good ones. And I'm going to share with you uh, one of my favorite techniques, which is uh, called uh, Don't Break the Chain. Uh, you may have heard this referred to as the Seinfeld method. Apparently, uh, well, there's this urban legend that Seinfeld was uh, giving a young comedian some uh, advice for how to be successful and he said write a joke every day get a calendar and when you write that joke put a big X on it and um, and then your job is to write a joke every day don't break the chain because when you see that chain of X's um, you will be inspired to keep going and this works it totally works even though um, Seinfeld has since said that it wasn't really his idea we still credit him with it anyhow um, either way it's it, it's an awesome uh, way to do things and it totally works I'm just going to uh, share my slides with you <laughs> there we go uh, this one all right so I used this very successfully uh, back in uh, August of uh, 2014 I decided that I wanted to be healthier and I was going to start walking so I went out and I got myself a Fitbit so that I could track my progress um, and I really like numbers and I like tracking and I like results so this works really well for me and I as soon as I figured out how to use it and secondly figured out that wow that long walk I was taking was only about 3,000 steps uh, I set a goal for myself to walk 10,000 steps every day and as you can see by the progress results this screenshot from August of 2014 uh, starting on day two I set that goal for 10,000 steps and I have all those happy little green bars that say yay I did it and I managed to do that until every day, day in and day out, no chain broken, green bar every day until sometime in December when there was this, um, it got super icy and it was treacherous. And I actually, I couldn't drive anywhere and I couldn't walk anywhere. Uh, so I wasn't, you know, my chain got broken. But because I had been doing it for so long, I had built up a habit. I was walking every day uh for 10,000 steps if I could do 10,000 steps but otherwise it, you know if I couldn't I couldn't but I kept on going I'd actually successfully built a habit which was great kept that up for oh about three years <laughs> about three years and then um yeah uh oh <laughs> I stopped I broke the chain and the chain stayed broken. And this is kind of the dismal little blue bars of failure that I was getting earlier on, um, earlier on this year. The habit that I had created had fallen by the wayside and it's just as easy to continue on not having a habit as it is, uh, actually it's easier to not have the habit than to have it. Um, so what I, um, what I did, <laughs> is I restarted it so here's here's the thing um, I, I restarted this um, when did I do that my slide tells me May 24th I restarted my habit I got uh, serious about it again and, and this is the thing um, we have this thing you know even talking about uh, my topic for yesterday when I talked about uh, getting started we have this tendency to celebrate the first 
you know, the getting started, the first step of the journey. It's, you know, the journey of a thousand miles begins with that first step. And we're like, yay, you took the first step. And we're also super excited about completing stuff. It's like, whoa, you made it a thousand miles, the last step. Yay. Um, and then we overlook the 9,999.99 miles in between. Those are just the boring, keeping going uh, pieces of this whole success journey uh, because it comes from uh, keeping going, continuing uh, to, uh, to break the chain once in a while and to actually keep going. So here's the thing. I restarted my habit back on May of uh, May 24th and I kept that look at those beautiful green bars there uh, the day in day out since May 24th 60 days yay and here is yesterday's see anything different about this ah why yes look at that a green or a blue bar of failure yesterday. And look at that, 9,980 steps. I misread my tracker when I came home from my evening walk and I missed my goal by 20 steps. So where I am right now is the danger zone. This is a super, super dangerous part uh, time for me um, right now. Um, I have to show you my, my cute little graphics here. Yes, I am in the danger zone. And the forecast here is that it's going to be hot. And I don't do really well with the heat. And it would be so tempting for me to say, yeah, the chain is broken, whatever. I'll rack up a few blue bars and then I'll keep going afterwards. But the thing is, it's only July. It's going to be hot in August. It's going to be hot in September. And I could very easily find myself in that place of um, a whole bunch of uh, sad little, little blue bars. So instead, I'm going to commit to um, going out for a walk today and getting in my 10,000 steps. So that is the secret here is uh, really is to keep going. And if you break and if you break the chain, um, restart it. And the other thing that I want to really underscore here is that um, measuring activity is a great way to build a to build a new habit and to measure progress on something that is really hard to measure directly. Um, so, for example, I'm walking because I want to be healthier. Well, Healthier is a very hard thing to measure. Um, am I healthier or not? I don't know. What I do know is if I walk 10,000 steps a day, I will be healthier than if I don't. Um, same deal with marketing. It's, uh, it's something that builds up over time. You don't market your business one day and expect to have immediate results. It, you continue to do it over time. Last week, I had two viewers of my live video. Today, I've got no one. Uh, <laughs> and that's how it goes. I could give up or I could keep going. But one thing I know for sure is if I did this every day for 365 days for a whole year, I'd have a whole pile of videos. I might have more than two people watch me live. Who knows? Um, but uh, what I can measure, what I can absolutely guarantee in terms of success for myself is actually doing the thing. So measuring activity is super important and it's a great way to measure progress if there, if it's otherwise hard to measure. But the thing to keep in mind with this is that the habits are more important than the measurements. Uh, breaking the chain um, is no big deal. Um, <laughs> can keep on. The more important thing is to build the habit. It's more important for me to walk every day, um, even if I have the occasional blue bar, than to have an uninterrupted perfect stream of green bars. And as somebody who tends to be a little bit on the all or nothing side, um, that's something I really have to be mindful of is that, uh, that I keep going despite despite the fact that my measurements <laughs> might not look good today. So um, if you're looking to develop a new habit, measure it, that's terrific. Um, but don't let the failure at the measurement undermine the creation of, a, of the habit. In other words, if you break the chain, keep on going. Uh, so there's your message for today. I am Patty Kay. I am wishing you a super delightful day. If you have a habit you want to get started or restarted, 
Now would be a fantastic time to do that. Have a great day. I will see you back here tomorrow. Bye for now.